I was just about to say, I went to get my nails done earlier and um, there's like some, I don't know, sticky stuff on them. I don't know. But anyway, I went to get my nails done. This is the shortest and most neutral I've ever had my nails. My nail tech is on holiday in Brazil. Is she in Brazil? Yeah, she's in Brazil. She speaks Portuguese, she's Brazilian. Yeah, she's in Brazil. And um, I did have an appointment Basically, it's like a very long stretch to go without her. And I thought I could firm it. And then like a couple of, let me just put this down. I, I feel a bit sick by the way. That's why I'm trying to keep my hood up and stay cozy. But um, yeah, she is away in Brazil and there's a long stretch anyway. So I probably wouldn't have made it. I probably would have had to have gone and seen someone else and had to do exactly that. I do buy ab, so they took the nails off because they didn't want to infill somebody else's work in case it's like different gel to what they use and I think to be honest it probably is um different gel to what they use so this is just and it's so interesting they do it differently in the shop so you have like so, like my nail tech has biab which she puts on and then she puts the colour on. But then they do like biab and then they put shellac on. She was like it's five pound extra for shellac I said just put the biab on and call it a day mate um so that's what she did um so that's what i did today i also edited all day <laughs> basically and now i'm getting ready to go to an event it's the loxitan event they're actually celebrating 30 years of their hand cream which if you guys are following me on insta you guys would have seen i did just get sent it in pr actually um it's this and this is actually going viral on TikTok at the moment. It's just the dry skin hand cream. I love L'Occitane. I've actually been using that hand cream and the Immortal hand cream. And then also they have an intensive balm, which I really like. Um, it's a hand balm. And I use that of an evening, like before I go to bed. I've decided that I'm wearing a hat today because it's absolutely <laughs> so windy. So I don't want to put too much product on my forehead because it would literally just be a bit of a waste that's my hourglass stick foundation which i still absolutely love and then new to my collection is this merit beauty number one brush if you guys are following me on tiktok i did a first impressions over there because they also have this product called the minimalist and it's beautiful it's so nice like i really love it um my battery is low on this but i've got some charging um so yeah i did a first impressions on tiktok and i really liked both of the products because this is like a skincare i mean obviously they're celebrating the hand cream but l'occitane is obviously like skincare and um i love their skincare pieces like their pieces are really nice is what i'm currently using it's like a thicker kind of eye cream um and then this is the serum immortal divine it's like that i might actually just mix a bit in with the foundation but yeah something about l'occitane products is just like i absolutely love their products they're really really nice so really excited to be able to go to one of their events i've never been to a l'occitane event before i think when it comes to skincare the french brands are just like cordially l'occitane like you just can never go wrong honestly so that was my hourglass i as i said i'm not feeling too good so i have really dark circles so to combat that i'm gonna go in with my kosas this is in the shade 08w i believe they've come out recently with new eyeshadow shades sorry excuse me new concealer shades so hopefully i'm able to test them out but in the meantime and in between time i get along really well with this shade which is 08w and i have another one as well but today i'm just going to be using this one i don't want to wear a lot of makeup because i don't really wear too too much of like a heavy base anyway um 
but particularly as I'm going to like a skincare event, I obviously want my skin to be able to breathe. <laughs> um, I don't know how much of it will be visible being that I'm <clears throat> gonna be wearing a hat, but as I said, that wind out there is crazy. And I don't wanna get, A, I don't want my hair to get blown away and B, myself personally as an individual, I don't wanna get blown away. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let me just throw the hat on and call it a day. See, it's kind of covered up the dark circles a bit. And then I just go back in with the Merit Beauty brush, just because it is like an all over brush that you're supposed to be able to use with everything, like concealer, foundation, the whole nine. So I just go back in with it. Smells so nice now that I've got that little bit of serum on my skin. I am just gonna go and get another concealer, one sec, because I just think I need to make it a little bit brighter. So this is the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics, and I literally just used the teeniest amount, like that much. And this is in the shade 35.5 Rich W. Um, and then I just go and blend it in with this brush. I dropped my beauty blender on the floor in a hotel. I can't remember where I was. I feel like I was in New York and I dropped it and I threw it in the bin and I just never replaced it. So I've just been using this. Is it? It's a Morphe M173 brush. I've just been using this since, to be honest. It just makes like a, are you in focus? Yeah, you are a little bit. Just makes like a nice kind of bright under eye, but nothing too wild. And I'm just gonna speed up the makeup now because honestly my makeup does not take me that long, especially if I'm not wearing eyeshadow and I'm just doing like a little light glam. I'm wearing a hat so I don't even really need to put any contour on my forehead, but it's just in case I decide to take my hat off. This is the Rare Beauty Stick. This is in the shade, I don't know, it says full of life. That's the shade I think, full of life. I love Rare Beauty. I think Rare Beauty is one of the best beauty brands on the market right now. I still love Fenty, but I don't know, I kind of feel like Rare has... Actually, no, let me not say that, because there's a bunch of new Fenty products which I haven't tried yet, so... Let me not get too carried away. Other new makeup brand that I really... was not new at all. <laughs> Bobbi Brown. I've really been loving Bobbi Brown products. Like, for real, for real. This is in a uh, blush in a shade, Blushed Rose 41. And I am a huge fan of it. I'm gonna try a new mascara. So I'm gonna go check my makeup thing in a sec. But just a powder, I use the Bobbi Brown Peach Vitamin Enriched Pressed Powder. I had the Charlotte Tilbury one, Airbrush Flawless, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, that one is basically finished now, so um, I was just like, I do really want to replace it, but I have other powders, so I'm like, let me just use the other powders that I have. This one originally was a bit too light for me, I felt like, um, but now in the winter months, it seems to be okay, so just thought, let me use this. Honestly, I don't feel like the makeup has done that much because I, I feel unwell. So I feel like, you know when you're feeling unwell, it just kind of like shows, even if you have, sorry, even if you have makeup on, I just feel like it still shows. But let me go uh, grab some mascara and I'll be right back. Um, I'm just gonna curl my lashes quickly. And the mascara that I dug out is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury and the applicator looks interesting. I think the battery is going to die so I'm going to replace the battery and I'll catch up with you guys once I have my outfit on. So we are ready. The lighting is really bad because it's so dark, but I'm getting my bag together. I'm gonna put my hand cream in there. This is the new Rare Beauty one and it smells so lovely. I really, really like this. And then also the lid is like a hand massage tool. So I'm gonna throw that in the bag. Of course, my hygiene hand gel. I have a bunch of tissues in here apparently. A nail file, a pen, 
some Carmex. Um, oh, I actually have another hand cream in here. So I don't need to take both. I love this one as well. This is um, Bath and Body Works. It smells really good. It's vanilla butter cream. So I'm gonna just leave that on the side. My fragrance of the evening. Um, I wanna wear something that I haven't worn in a while. Oh my gosh, it's giving huge knot in hair. What the heck? I really wanna leave now as well because I have to get to the chemist before it closes. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the Prada Candy Night. I did a video on, um, you guys may have seen it actually, I did a video on three affordable perfumes and spoiler alert, that was one of them. Let me get, let me just get out of here and I'll see you guys at the event because I want to run to the chemist and I also have about six different vintage orders all to post from different places and I really want to make sure that I've got all of them so I can post them all today so I'll see you guys at the event. Years, um, and we're really really proud of that. Um, we work really closely with the women and uh, alongside our the Lots Hand Foundation we have we support them in terms of education for themselves, education for their children, uh, we help them with any occupational training um, and also furthering any endeavours that they have, so any entrepreneurship. Um, another woman that inspired Olivier Rossin was his own mother. He really recalls watching her paint surrounded by aluminium tubes, which is exactly the inspiration that, that is the hand cream packaging that you see today. Um, here in the UK and Ireland, uh, we take that commitment to empowering women one step further, access all important um, uh, support and uh, knowledge so that they can um, yeah, ensure that they can be empowered for their future. Um, we have an incredible woman here today who really does it, Michelle Griffith Robinson, for anyone who hasn't met her already this evening. Um, she's an Olympian. Not ex Olympian, an Olympian, <laughs> um, as I called her earlier. Um, and she is a life coach. She's an ambassador for Loxham and for Women's Aid. So she is the perfect person to talk on all of these subjects. So without further ado, I'm going to pass you over to Michelle. Thank you, everyone, for being here. So, first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to um, Loxham, Diana. Poppy. Miss Poppy? Cute little brookie. Are you vlogging? Yeah, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> We're double vlogging. Just come to Milk Beach to get some breakfast. This is what we picked. I'm feeling a bit ropey ah. today, so I've just done an acai bowl. But I'm really jealous because this one looks really good. <laughs> order is here. I wanted to unbox it and do a very quick try on with you guys. First up, we're going to try out these trousers. I picked these out because they have this white waistband on the top. I'm going to match it with a grey jumper. This is like a half zip jumper. Okay, so here's outfit one. We've got this grey zip up hoodie. It zips all the way. This is £40. And then the trousers are really cute. You don't see that white detail with the jumper on, but here's what it looks like. I got these in a size 10, I always size up, and since they have a scrunchy waist, it's actually a really good size. I picked out a ton of jumpers. This one is in a size small, it's only 22 99 So here's what it looks like on. I could have actually sized up in this, because it is a sweatshirt as opposed to like a jumper. So it's a little thinner, so it would have been nice for me to get it in a medium or even a large. This jumper is actually 15 quid. Such a good price, look at it. Charles Street, Boston, USA, Massachusetts. Again, it's like a sweatshirt, so it's definitely on the thinner size and I have this in a small, but this is cheaper, 15 quid. This one's still good. If you're on a budget, I would say go for this one. This one's really cute. Okay, so this one is 27 99 and it's a size small. I love a good stripy jumper, particularly a polo neck or a turtleneck. This is great. This is pretty much a wardrobe staple. Like you cannot go wrong with this. Okay, into skirts now. I have this faux leather size eight, 19 .99. Like it's a pretty good price point at 19 .99. But here's what it looks like 
please if you can see my pink socks just ignore them <laughs> my big pink fluffy socks but this is perfect for autumn for winter throw on a nice pair of knee-high boots this is like a staple that you need okay so if faux leather is not your thing i have this black skirt it's 22.99 i'm wearing it in a size 8 i just usually tuck in the jumper a little bit at the front just to give it a little shape it's very mini so if that's not your thing <laughs> Beware, but it's really cute. It's just like a staple again, just like the other one. They're kind of under my nose, but I'm finishing on this like sort of low back crochet dress. It's a holiday piece. I do not have a holiday booked, but I just want to be ready in case a holiday comes. I don't want to have to then spend money on clothes. This is really cute. I love this. Okay, that was my my haul. Just hopping in here to do a voiceover because it occurred to me that I hadn't actually spoken to you guys much about this event. So this was a Galentine's event that Sheree and Zainab were hosting at Aesthetic Studios and it was such a beautiful event. As you guys will have seen in the earlier clips, the table was set out beautifully, the grazing table was set out even more beautifully, probably spent a little bit too much time at the grazing table before the cake decorating began. So the main activity was cake decorating. My cake has gone already. I think it lasted two days um i think my partner came and ate probably i want to say a good two-thirds of it but it was the most perfect 
like moist cake I hate saying that word but it was so nice and um, but it was actually such a beautiful event as well you guys saw that there was like a goodie bag station as well um, which I will show you guys what I picked up at some point in this vlog but it was such a great event so well done to Sheree and Zainab for hosting it they did a really great job my cake I, I'm just thinking I don't think I actually in this vlog show you a finished article of my cake I mean it really wasn't anything to like see see because there were girls in there like Sheree is low-key uh, Delia Smith. Like, this girl is crazy creative. Her cake looked amazing. So, anyway, I just thought I'd jump in. as I'm editing this and looking at all of the cakes and my cake as you guys saw Sheree had to really rescue my cake that was pretty much the finished article but I did add some little hearts onto it which were great but can we just absorb like some of these girls they were so talented at decorating the cake I feel like they're low-key uh little bakers or maybe they just did better at brownies than I did um but yeah it was such a beautiful event I had so much fun and the cake more than anything, the cake tastes amazing. It was 10 out of 10. How can I hold and pretend is not Nigeria? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe my cake made it. That looks so nice. As you guys will have just seen, I went to a Galentine's event at Sheree's studio. I feel like if you watch my vlogs, you know Sheree and you know that she has a studio. She recently moved to a different studio location though. So she was hosting an event along with Zainab. And um, yeah, it was really cute. It was a cake decorating. As you guys will have seen though, Sheree had to take mine over because mine was not going so great. But do you know what? In my defense yet, I don't really be eating buttercream, buttercream like that. Like I like my sponge. Do you get what I mean? Like I don't, pure, pure icing in them things. I don't really do. We got a goodie bag, so I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. Firstly, I love this tote bag. I'm a real big sucker for tote bags. This is the tote bag from the alcohol company that was at the event, which is, it's called, I think it's called Calvert. Calvert? I'm not too sure. I've got a bottle of it here actually, so I'll show it to you guys. Um, let me show you the bottle first. Actually, they sent me some stuff. Um, they sent me a couple of bottles and also a really beautiful bouquet of flowers. So I'm gonna actually hope, I'm hoping to film with that now it's just that at 4 30 it's really dark it's pitch black so i'm gonna see how it looks and i'm gonna try and film with it if i can but anyway this is the alcohol company it's called calvet um and this is what we were drinking at the event the one that they gave me is um slightly different to this but this is really really nice so sorry it's actually too bright because i've put the light on but um yeah this is the tote and it's so sturdy so that's one of the goodie bags and then here is like my beauty bag stuff so they had so many beauty brands there so i picked out a glow toner okay so here are the bits that's much better so we have the glow toner from charlotte tilbury these are the aborian so they have a cleansing balm in like a tub and i absolutely love it this is the oil version and then the gel we these are like great for travel little minis have a pixie with my name on it which is just the cutest thing ever um i haven't tried these pixie eye patches but these are brightening ones i actually used some eye patches this morning the garnier ones have a charlotte tilbury pillow talk mascara we have this brand coba i've heard of them uh this is a soap bar soak me up soap bar 
formulated with safu oil uh, let's see oh okay it's got olive oil coconut oil and shea butter in it that sounds really good um i also have a setting spray did i use this this morning or i forgot I think I forgot, but this is the setting spray that I use. I have a Pixi Glow Mist. I've heard about this, so I'm really excited to try it. And then that hair milk, and then this bread oil. They've changed the packaging, so now you get a pipette to pop in there. And then this from Airborean, and I think that was it. And the tote bags, of course. And then obviously, the alcohol. <laughs> so I feel like I completely forgot to mention this. It's the lip oil from say beauty and i'm really excited because i've actually never tried any of their pieces this is in the shade play so yeah i'm really excited to use this let me unbox it quickly actually that's what it looks like i'm really excited to try this because i've heard so much about this brand so this is my first time going to be my first time trying them so it's currently 4 30 4.35, I need to leave in just under two hours. I have another event later at BAFTA. It's a Netflix screening for a show called One Day, which by the time this video is out, you guys will, it's already up on Netflix. But basically they're releasing or they're showing the first three episodes a couple of days before it comes out, which I'm really excited for because if you guys know me, one thing I do love is my TV and my series and my shows and things like that. I'm actually currently watching The Wire. So I... I love like all the new shows, but every so often like I'll go back and I'll watch like a cult classic, which I've never watched. So I'm currently watching The Wire and I'm on season four and I absolutely love it. Do you know what? It kind of was a little bit of a slow burner um, and it's kind of weird because I follow actors so like Dominic West and obviously like Idris Elba, everybody follows Idris, but like Dominic West, I kind of know him from Les Mis and then the, I think the BBC did an adaptation and then I also know him from The Affair primarily as Noah Soloway so it's really interesting to see him younger and then his partner in it Buck this guy has not aged so I know him as um Rachel's dad in Suits um the guy from Brown Sugar the record exec guy that film is my favorite film by the way Brown Sugar and then what else do I know him from? But he's a stellar actor. Um, like I said, I, I'm like a proper little geek when it comes to actors and stuff like that. Um, he, I think he trained at Juilliard, to be fair. Um, the guy has not aged. What's his name? I don't know why he's so far down on the cast. His name is Wendell Pierce. This guy has, he's, he's not changed. He looks exactly, this guy's 60 years old. He looks exactly the same. He really does. Uh, what else do I know him from? Yeah, Brown Sugar. What has he been in sort of like more recently? I also learned that the guy that plays Avon Barksdale in The Wire, I'm so sorry if you don't watch these shows by the way, the guy that plays Avon Barksdale in The Wire is brothers in real life with the cop that is in BMF. Wild, blew my mind. Oh, he's in Power Book. I have to watch Power Book, you know. Archer, did I watch him in that? Oh, he's in Ray Donovan. Yeah, I mean, look, I mainly know him from Suits. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, that's what I'm watching at the moment, The Wire. And then, like, I did uh, watch Mad Men, because that's another one that everyone speaks about, and I hadn't watched it. And the next, like, old school thing that I'm going to go back and watch from the beginning is The Sopranos, because I've never watched The Sopranos. But what are some of your favourite TV shows and TV series? I love a good series. I love Netflix. I love Amazon Prime. I'm currently watching Expats, which is actually really interesting. It's on Amazon Prime. And then... Where else am I running? I'm just waiting for my shows to come back. I'm waiting for BMF to come back. I'm waiting for P Valley to come back. Um, Bridgerton, I'm waiting to come back. The Gilded Age, that is a show. I've just finished that latest season. Like, I finished it ages ago. Like, I watched it uh, as it came out. Apple TV's got some great shows. The Morning Show is one of the best shows ever. If you haven't watched The Morning Show, you need to watch The Morning Show. Anyway. All that to say, I'm going to a Netflix event to watch this show later. Um, and that's at... 6.45 or 7? I think it's at 7. I'll check. Um, so I want to... Super annoying, so I want to film so I can put my nice flowers in the vase. I'm going to set up in the kitchen just to see what it looks like because I think I might be able to make it work with a couple of lights. So I'm going to set up in the kitchen, see if I can film. I'm going to also get changed and decisive. But I'm going to test the light. 
and then I'm gonna see if I can shoot that content. And then I'll catch up with you guys in a bit when we go to the other event. I'm, I'm also gonna see Jade again. So Jade was at the event. I actually found out yesterday that she was coming. I didn't know that she was gonna be there. I tried to like, especially with events and stuff, like I, people always, me personally, I don't ask who is going to be there because like the whole point is like networking and meeting new people. So I never really ask. Um, but I found out yesterday that Jade was going. So I was like, oh yeah, she's going to be there. So that was quite nice. I filmed the alcohol and flowers content. I'll throw it in so you guys can see it. The bouquet of flowers is honestly like the most beautiful bouquet I have ever seen and it's like heavy. Um, so I got changed. I'm just I'm wearing this black meshki dress which is backless. Again, the lighting is just terrible. I think I'm gonna leave you guys here, you know, because I'm thinking it's a screening, so they probably don't really want people only, I mean, I guess it's coming out in a couple days, but they probably don't want people with recording equipment in there, really. I mean, everyone knows you can record on your phone. I'm going in with my Commodity Velvet Plus fragrance. I've been wearing this all day. I'm gonna throw that on, put my boots on, put my black, sort of like shaggy black coat on and then once I get there I'll take my hair down because the edges of this is flicking up and I don't glue down you guys know this about me by now um so I'm gonna put this down like once I get there but it's so windy outside that I'm like listen I don't know if you can hear it but I'm gonna get going this is my little makeup bag from earlier my V lip liner and this YSL lippy which I'm loving and then my Bobbi Brown powder which to be honest I feel like I'm still very very oily so but to be honest i've had this makeup on all day um for about eight hours now so we'll just see what we can i switched my earrings i love those other earrings but they are quite heavy so i don't tend to wear them like all day because i just don't want my ear hole getting all stretched out <laughs> so i'm just gonna wear these they're really nice and light but let's get out of here Anyone that knows me knows that I love a good TV series. I was so fortunate to be invited by Netflix UK to BAFTA to watch the new screening of One Day. One Day is originally a novel by David Nichols, but it's been adapted for Netflix. It's previously been adapted for film. This was such an amazing screening. We were fortunate enough to have a Q&A with the actors after, after we watched three episodes. Honestly, I was absolutely hooked. This comes out tomorrow and I cannot wait.